Sodium peroxide is a yellowish inorganic compound with the formula Na2O2. It's a strong base which exists in several hydrates and peroxyhydrates and it is a strong oxidizer. Sodium peroxide was once used to bleach wood pulp for the production of paper. A surprising use of sodium peroxide is used in scuba gear. When it's exposed to carbon dioxide it can react with it to produce sodium carbonate and oxygen. That's why it's used on submarines to filter the carbon dioxide produced by its crew members into pure oxygen. Industrially, sodium peroxide is produced by reacting sodium and oxygen at 200 C, which produces sodium oxide which later absorbs extra oxygen to produce sodium peroxide. A now outdated method of producing sodium peroxide is by passing ozone over sodium iodide inside a platinum tube. The ozone oxidizes the sodium iodide into sodium peroxide and the platinum itself is a catalyst so it's not attacking the reaction. As for the sodium iodide, it breaks down into iodine which later super lines and can be simply boiled off. So to begin I've loaded a steel can with a bunch of sodium chunks and the chunks have weighed around 2 grams but I'm not very sure. To begin the reaction I've started up my Bunsen burner and as you can see when the flame touched the steel can a bunch of smoke began to be produced. I believe that is some leftover oil that is evaporating from the sodium. The oil was used to store the sodium because sodium is attacked by air and can tarnish over time. Even though the mineral oil is not perfect, it usually protects the sodium for very long periods of time. Here I try to lift up the can with a pair of thongs so that the sodium can heat up. After a certain threshold, the sodium began to emit a bright light from the can which meant that it was time to stop the flame and begin pumping air to it. So I grabbed my air pump and I started pumping the air in. After a while the reaction had died down and in the can there should be sodium hydroxide, sodium oxide and of course sodium peroxide. That's what the inside of the can looks like. To test if it's sodium peroxide I've thrown it into some water. As you can see the bubbles that are coming from the chunk is most likely from the formation of hydrogen peroxide. To show its oxidizing capabilities I've decided to throw some magnesium powder onto it. As you can see the sodium peroxide oxidizes the magnesium and it's quite a vigorous reaction. However, I don't think the sodium peroxide is very pure since the reaction should have been much faster. Alright guys, that's all. Here's what I'm currently working on. If you want to see some of these projects, why not subscribe?